Yo, what is going on guys? We're back for what's new TCG. A little, a few days after the beginning of the month, but there's been a lot going on inside our personal lives that we're not going to get into. But we're going to, we're going to be coming out with it on a Wednesday. There's nothing that actually came out before this anyway, so it's actually fine. And yeah, there's some, there's some interesting stuff coming out this month. Yeah, there's not a there's not a whole lot of releases compared to the last few months, but the hit releases are pretty big. So we kind of get started off in Japan on the eighth with a banger, Oshinoko. If you guys know, this is a set I've been pretty excited about. Probably gonna open probably four boxes at least, maybe more in the future. I'm gonna be chasing basically any of the yados are pretty good in this set because the characters are good. But Ah, Ruby, uh, what was the other, like, Aqua, Kana? Aqua, the dude, that's how you but say her name. we know that card won't be yeah. valuable. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to get something, Aqua will probably be like 60 bucks on eBay. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's going to be a pretty hop release. That's like one of the two hop releases this month for us, so we'll, we'll catch the other one in a minute. So, moving on, Ethan, you want to tell us about Guilty Gear Strive? All right, so... In USA on the 15th, we've got another fighting game set, which apparently is the thing to do these days. But we've got Guilty Gear Strive. Now, I've heard about this game, never played it. And the Vice Schwartz set is, you know, I mean, it's just going to be Guilty Gear's characters. I don't really have much more information to give you out there. It's just going to be your standard, probably like. 50, 60 bucks, maybe like 24 packs, and a Guilty Gear signed cards, yada, yada, yada. You know, you know what you're getting into. But then in Japan on the same day, this is what I've been looking forward to for literally like months. Um, and I've mentioned it in like every freaking video or every like update video I feel like. We've got Build Divide Fate Zero. Now... I said I was going to get a case, like a 20 box case of this, but I don't want to pay for it, I don't think. So I might just do like 10 boxes, which is still a lot. But, um, I really love Fate, so I'm definitely going to get into the set. And the, the card arts look nice. I don't know what the card values will be like on this, but the, the old Vice Shorts Fate signed cards are like super expensive. But that may be in part just because they're so old, but... Yeah, I'm yeah, super I excited. figure these will be like your big characters will be pretty expensive. In Saber well. will be very Especially expensive. Build <laughs> the other ones, mm, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Build Divide's like weird. It's like really top heavy with the signatures. Yeah. Like they're really expensive. Sure. So the next day in Japan, we got a set that we're not, we don't really know anything about. It looks like Dark Magicians on the cover. So probably a Dark Magician, uh, what are they called? Like, Overrush? Rush. I, Overrush, yeah. Um, I don't expect us to get to this. We really didn't enjoy Rush Duel the last time. Uh, for anybody that does like Rush Duel, this is probably a pretty good set. But uh, this, this stuff's just not for us. Um, maybe maybe if a banger set comes out in the future that has, has a card we like. But it's not something we're super excited about. But the same day, we have the OCG Premium Pack in Japan. Now, this has Sky Striker Rose alternate art. I don't know what else it has. That is the only thing I have seen about this set. Um, if it's like any premium pack cards, it's going to be one big card in the box, basically, and nothing else. Uh, so, kind of look out for that. It's going to be a fun set, maybe, to get cheap boxes for. Like, I would look at like 20, 30 bucks. But yeah, that's uh, the alternate art's pretty cool in this, and uh, yeah, so that's it for that week, and then we go on to the 22nd. Yeah, so we got in Japan another Vice Schwartz set, and you may be asking yourself, how many Vice Schwartz sets are coming out this month? Well, this is not the last one. <laughs> this is <laughs> called Project Sekai Col Colorful Stage. Now, I'm going to keep it straight with you. I don't have a clue what the heck that is. But everybody can assume this is idle. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it's probably idle. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. If you know what it is, 
you don't want to get the set. It'll probably be like 40, 50 bucks, 16, 24 packs, somewhere around there. It's typical. Typical idle Japanese five short set. And I'm moving on to something actually we all care about. We've got Vi Schwartz Freire. Now it if you look at Vi Schwartz's website, they've only got the trial deck listed at least at the time of recording. So this may just be the trial deck that's coming out right now. But whenever the the actual set comes out, if it is this day or if it's later, this is gonna be a pretty popular set because this is like a very hot anime right now uh, i've been watching it and i really like it so we will definitely we will definitely hit up that set at some point whenever that comes out yeah that'll be a set that you don't see very much with us where we might both open boxes and we might do like a bigger video maybe two or three boxes a piece or something like that yeah if there's like because, a um, if there's like a freer and an ssp that card will be like crazy expensive i bet yeah so kind of look forward to that i haven't even finished the show i've only like two episodes in there's a lot of anime out so um and then we go to an older anime i, I think it had a new season though didn't it yeah it, i think it's currently airing as well yeah uh union arena dr stone we haven't seen well i've seen a little bit of dr stone but this is more for our friend logan uh probably will see this on the channel don't know if it will be this month but uh, they did release pictures of the signed card, uh, and it looks sick. Very cool. Uh, so Union Arena is really kind of killing it lately. Uh, the last few sets have been really good. We got Code Geass on the way. So yeah, kind of a little spoiler for a future video, but I think they knew it was coming. Yeah. Uh, same day? No, next day. We have back another, is it Japan release? Yeah. Quarter Century Duelist Box. Now, it being a Japan release makes me a little more excited for this. Probably going to be almost like a 10, I would assume. So probably like a $15, $20 box. Don't know what the hits are. I have no information on this. I didn't even know it was coming out, and I'm the Yu-Gi-Oh guy. Yeah, information So this coming. is something new to me as well. Yeah, I, I, have, I had no clue about this one. But we'll probably get to this. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. So... Be on the lookout for it if it's got some cool cards in it. If any information comes up, we'll try to leave it in the comments on this. But until then, that's just, just kind of all we have for this. Yeah. That's probably so. the last quarter century product if I, had, if I had to get, unless it continues on into next year. <laughs> let's hope not. I, I like the quarter century. Uh, they're fun getting graded. But let's go back to Starlots. I, I think I think a lot of people would agree. It's a funner chase. Though, you know, it's harder to hit them because we've never... Well, you've hit one. But um, I think it would be best. But I guess that's that kind of does it for this month. Um, we can talk about what we're most excited for. Um, yeah. It's going to be Oshinoko and Fate Zero. That was pretty good. <laughs> we're going to skip the foreplay. <laughs> Just yeah, tell there's you. No, no teasing on this one. They, they kind of... We've talked about those two boxes now for a few probably a few months so we got some pretty big Yu-Gi-Oh stuff coming in January so we might take a little bit of a back burner on Yu-Gi-Oh this month we're gonna try to get to Phantom Nightmare I know that but other than that look for those two sets mostly anything else to add here Ethan any, any sets you're excited about other than Freer and, and Fate Zero no um, I thought this month would be better than it than it is but you know maybe people are holding out companies are holding out for next year but you know it's you know i'm still excited for yeah. what we've got coming yeah it might it might be like just a couple bangers this month but uh they're gonna be pretty fun so you guys should check out those videos when we do upload them well that'll do it for this one um we um i guess we'll see you guys next month on the next tcg hopefully Hopefully got some more news next month on some TCG releases. It's a bad way to end the year with only like eight releases. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all next see you time. Guys.